Hey Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mont. Welcome to Atlanta Falcons today here on a subscriber mailbag video heading into the weekend. We do it every single week here on the, on the channel. So if you're a subscriber, ask a good question. Maybe you're going to see your name pop up here in just a couple of minutes. We'll start with Justin, who is, is a subscriber. Ask a good question, quote, hashtag Falcons. If we get Kenneth Walker with our late second round pick, that would be an immediate steal. First two picks need to be big guys, O-line, D-line, or edge. Actually, I agree with like everything that you just said right here. First off, we can all agree on adding trench guys, right? Like that, that is very clearly what the Atlanta Falcons should do with their first two draft picks, maybe even their first three draft picks. And whether that is offensive line in round one, defensive line in round two, or like what I want to do, defensive line in round one, offensive line in round two, we can all agree that Atlanta has a very simple, you know, option there at number eight overall. Like go defense or offensive line and prove the trenches because that's where you're going to start winning football games quicker. If you can protect Matt Ryan and get pressure on the opposing quarterback because the Falcons have not been able to do that. I mean, look at this defensive line. Like, I mean... <sighs> Just look at it. It's terrible. It's it, it's the worst defensive line in football. It's probably at least the bottom three in football. Adding a, a legit pass rusher, whoever it is at number eight, is immediately making this leagues better than what it actually is right now. I mean, actually leagues better than what it is right now, which is why I would go defensive line first versus offensive line. But there is the argument to protect Matt Ryan. Either way, in the trenches is where you go. Help build this defensive line. As far as Kenneth Walker, I, I, I think I'm one of the few people in Atlanta, and I know a lot of people... Uh, you know, a radio station, you know, blog writers, you know, people who, you know, write for the AJC who don't think running back is that big of a need and wouldn't spend a second round draft pick on Kenneth Walker. I might. And you mentioned the, you know, the Titans late second round draft pick there that, that, that we have. I, I wouldn't hate it. He's a beast, man. He's really good. You imagine if the Falcons have added Javante Williams last year instead of just, you know, getting Richie Grant or trading back out of the pick and then letting Denver come in there. I, they, they get a legit running back behind Matt, excuse me, behind Matt Ryan. I think you can immediately improve the running game tenfold. I mean, I know the offensive line is not that great and the holes aren't massive, but a legit running back not named Mike Davis paired with Cordero Patterson would go a long way. I like the idea of Kenneth Walker late round two, and I'm starting to love it a lot more now that I'm talking about it here on the channel. All right, pink comment, ad break, bigger need, offensive line or defensive line? What do you think? Like overall for the Falcons, type O down below for offensive line or type D down below for defensive line? Next question here comes from the main character in the Bible, Jesus. Uh, hashtag Falcons with a top 10 pick in the draft. Do you think it's possible that we can get a good O lineman in round one with the possibility of drafting Ryan's replacement in a later round? Two part question. Let's start with the first one. Here are your four options for offensive linemen in round one. Let's just say you want to go for them, and I might as well give you names that way you can start getting them in your head. The best offensive lineman is Evan Neal, the tackle out of Alabama. He won't be there at number eight. Some are saying he will go number one overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. There are teams that need offensive line, like the Giants, that are ahead of Atlanta. Neal's not going to be there. Now go down to a guy like Charlie Cross, probably the second or third best tackle. He's an option there at number eight. But the guy I want to focus in on is at, is at the bottom. Tyler Lindenbaum, the center out of Iowa. This guy is an absolute monster and is probably going to be a top 10 pick, but might fall a little bit because not many teams need a center. I think Atlanta could use a center. I think the Tyler Lindenbaum could be a really, a really good option for them if they wanted to go offensive line. If. This is like a perennial starter if they were to take him. I still lean defensive line, but those are some options there at O-line. Now, possibly of drafting Ryan's replacement in a later round. I'm all for it. I've said this in my video the other day, my five-part pl plan to fix the Falcons this offseason. Take one of these four quarterbacks in a later round. Round three, round four if you can get Malik Willis out of Liberty in round three done I would do it 100% again no pressure to start has all the intangibles he's what you want in a quarterback you come learn underneath Matt Ryan and then eventually he becomes a starter when Matt Ryan retires or leaves which is you know one two three years away whatever it is any of these guys though Carson Strong uh there's got you know Bailey Zapp out of Western Kentucky is a name that'll be like a later round draft pick but I love Malik Willis I'm on the Malik Willis to Falcons hype train as a backup to learn to be the future, not to take over uh, Matt Ryan's starting spot right away. We guys think, will Atlanta draft a quarterback in 2022? Hmm? What say you? Uh, if you think they will, type Y down below for yes. I think they will not, then go ahead and type N down below for no. Okay, before we're going into the next question here, there's a new hat and t-shirt combo that is an incredible price right now at the link below me and also in our description box. Chatsports.com forward slash Falcons combo forward slash. Just put that up there in Google. Search for it and pick up the, the. I mean, this is a great looking gray with the red hat. I mean, this is fantastic. I think you guys are going to need some new fresh gear for the offseason. This is a very good deal right now. All the sizes are available. That's going quick though. So pick it up right now. Chatsports.com forward slash Falcons combo forward slash and rep your Falcons the entire offseason long. All right, Quentin Hesse says, at this point, with Mike Davis likely gone, would there be a bigger need for a running back or wide receiver via the draft in the case that Calvin Ridley is also gone? 
you know, you can make the argument for both. Obviously, both are going to be a need, but I mentioned it earlier, the Falcons really need a running back. Like, the Falcons have tried going into free agency and getting a running back the past couple of years. Todd Gurley had a lot of touchdowns, but basically no yards, and then Mike Davis was a bust. I mean, literally 500 yards rushing last year, uh, 100-something carries, a lot of fumbles, just, just a bust this past season. So, just get the future at running back. Get somebody who you can, of course, draft in round two or three, who's on a cheap rookie deal, who's running his heart out. You don't have to pay him anything for like three, four years until his contract is up. Like, this is just a no-brainer to me. Get a, uh, a running back in the draft. Now, in terms of replacing Calvin Ridley, free agency is not a bad place to do it. Now, you don't have a lot of money to do so, but there are some big-time names in free agency if you wanted to make a splash. Devontae Adams is too expensive. He's your best wide receiver uh, in free agency. You can't afford him. Chris Godwin, though, on a one-year prove-it deal, probably still, still too expensive, but an option. Allen Robinson, Judas Smith-Schuster, Mike Williams. Like, there are, go Google free agent wide receivers and see how many there are. There are a ton of names that are cheaper than this, that are, you know, like this on your screen. I think the Falcons could definitely look to free agency to bring in a wide receiver, especially since they should and probably will be trading Calvin Ridley. Now, you should be subscribed to the channel because we have tons of great content coming up here this offseason. Full roster breakdowns, full draft previews, news, rumors, everything you could possibly want regarding your Atlanta Falcons, especially during the offseason when you want to be up to date. You know, short 10-minute video format, all the news that you need, in and out, boom, done. Go down below, hit that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and help us grow this channel. Share it with, share it with your friends. You like the Falcons? You like this channel? Share it with your friends by hitting the red subscribe button and uh, below me. All right, Elijah McGeorge says, what do you think of trading a fifth-round pick for Gardner Minshew? I personally like it. Um, you know, I think Gardner can play, first off. And someone who, you know, covers Philadelphia as well, one of my other jobs uh, here at Chat Sports, I, I think Gardner Minshew is a very good backup quarterback and could start at the right price for the right team. But I don't think he needs to come to Atlanta. Like, I, is he going to sit behind Matt Ryan? Is he going to replace Matt Ryan? I, I would rather draft a quarterback. I'd rather get somebody who puts a little less pressure on Matt Ryan, a little more raw, who Arthur Smith can build and mold and, you know, get into his own uh, uh, you know, you know, quarterback ideal for, for foundation and formation. I, I, I like Matt Ryan, and I think Matt Ryan's the future here in terms of the next couple of years. But as I mentioned earlier, drafting a quarterback is where I want to go. I don't think going to free agency and getting like a Teddy Bridgewater or Cam Newton makes sense. I don't think trading for Gardner Minshew is really that 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 uh, enticing of a uh, trade. All right, final one here. Um, Landon Stanley says, is Calvin Ridley cu uh, coming back? No, there's no way. I'll be shocked if Calvin Ridley comes back. If he does, we'll cover it here, but there's no way. They're going to trade him, and they're going to get a second, third, or a fourth round draft pick for him. Hopefully a second, probably a third. And they're going to use that to draft his replacement. I mean, or go to free agency and sign his replacement. Either way, he's not coming back. There's no way he comes back. And I, I think Atlanta fans should be happy with that because, you know, even though he's been a great receiver in the past, if he's not all in on Atlanta, which we don't know if he is, then I just think that moving on from him is the best interest of the Falcons and uh, kind of starting fresh at the wide receiver position. I'll finish on this. Would you? trade Calvin Ridley? What do you think? Type T down below for trade or type K down below for keep. Let me know down below right now in the comment section. I will be typing T because I would trade him. All right, ultimate for today on our Atlanta Falcons mailbag video. Hashtag Falcons in the comment section to be a part of next week's mailbag video because some of these were pulled from last week's mailbag video. So if you want to get in on the action, subscribe down below and also use the hashtag Falcons in the comment section to get your question asked and hopefully answered in a future Falcons mailbag video. For Atlanta Falcons today, enjoy wildcard weekend. I'm Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day.